Hello and welcome back to my kitchen for another vegan and gluten-free recipe. In this episode, I'm making this curried tomato, lentil, and coconut soup. And shout out to my mom, she's the one who recommended this recipe. There's 12 ingredients that go into this soup, so let's run through each of them very quickly. First up, this is three quarters of a cup of red lentils. I've washed them in cold water and picked out any debris. One diced yellow onion, four chopped cloves of garlic, one can of diced tomatoes, one can of unsweetened coconut milk, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon of curry powder, one tablespoon of ginger powder, two tablespoons of dried cilantro, one quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, some salt and pepper to taste, and the final ingredient, a little bit of lime juice to drizzle on at the very end. This recipe is such a piece of cake. I won't be doing anything here at my countertop, which is what I normally do in my episodes. I'm just gonna be doing everything on my stovetop. I have the sauce pan heating up and ready to go and basically what I do to make this soup is I first take the onions, saute them in some olive oil, and then gradually add in the rest of the ingredients to make the soup. It's seriously that easy so let's get started. Time to try this soup. I let it sit for quite a while on the stove top so it could thicken up and get down to a temperature where I could actually eat it and not burn myself. Just to give you an idea of the texture, the creaminess, the color. Let's dish it up and try not to make too much of a mess. Okay, the long awaited bite. Let's see how this tastes. Immediately I taste the coconut milk and then I get the garlic, the cilantro, the curry. Mm. If there's one thing you're gonna see over and over again on this channel, which of course is dedicated to vegan and gluten-free food, it's definitely lentils. They're a favorite protein source of mine and they're in so many cuisines from around the world that I absolutely love. They're just an all-around win. I cannot say enough good things about lentils. Well, that's everything for this recipe episode. I hope you found it entertaining or at the very least informational. Go and try this recipe out yourself. I've linked it down in the description box, honestly. Even if it's not your most favorite soup that you ever make, it takes like no time. So at the very least, you'll have a few meals on hand to enjoy, and then you can move on to something else. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you very much, Mom, for recommending this recipe. I absolutely loved it. And on that note, before I forget to mention it, please leave any recommendations, suggestions down in the comment section. I love to hear from all of you, and please let me know if you have a recipe in mind that you'd like me to feature on this channel, or would like me to attempt to make vegan slash gluten-free if it isn't already. That's everything I've got for you today. So take care, eat well, and I will see you in the next episode on this channel. Bye.